Raphael's Galatea is actually a private piece. This is done in a private home, and so it changes the context by which we understand it. Now, you should understand that Raphael was a socialite, available and admired as an artist, and a person within the highest circles of Italian culture. Raphael is an interesting character. He's constantly uh, flirting with or involved with the culture of the time, the most important people, the wealthiest and most influential people of his period. He will be offered a cardinal's cap at one point. He will be offered numerous people's hands in marriages. Eventually, he gets none of these, but that's primarily because he dies at su such a young age. Now, this piece is a private commission depicting Galatea fleeing the Cyclops surrounded by sea creatures and playful cupids. The work itself really erupts with pagan joy and praise of the human body and zestful life. You can't look at it any other way. It's really a praise of the human form, and to them at the time, the human form is the perfect form. After all, man is created in the image of God, or at least that's their idea, and to the Greeks, that was also the idea, that you must really work on your body because it is a gift from God. So these ideas are mixing in this piece. Now within it, there's this repetitious circular motion to the composition that draws you ever deeper into the image. In fact, if you draw it out, you'll notice we have almost this star pattern ending at Galatea's head, drawing us into the image and maybe arguably past the image as if we can go behind it and then come in from behind and see the angles that we couldn't possibly see from the work itself. This idea of manipulation of vanishing point, or at least in this case, manipulation of composition and line is important. It draws you to a specific point. It gives you an emotional response to the painting. Now, ultimately, this is Raphael reconciling Renaissance art with classical sculpture and poetry, trying to draw the two together. Again, humanism and this era is not about replacing religion. It's about reconciling religion with all of this lost knowledge that's finally coming into the Western world, that the Italians are finally laying their hands on. What were seemingly lost Roman and Greek texts are suddenly coming to light. They're being translated from Arabic and brought back into Italy. That is going to be particularly important here. And so this is Raphael reconciling that just like he does in the School of Athens.